Hey, uh, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Motorsport Mondays. How's everyone doing today? I am running slightly off schedule, but I think we're okay. There we go. Whew. Had to run a bunch of errands this morning, and then got distracted by a few things. And uh, But we're here, and we're ready to race some cars. Hey, everybody. Everyone have a good weekend. Boom, 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 boom. I know I was late. I had to go pee before the stream started. You gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta strip as much weight as possible. Can't have anything in that bladder before we go racing, right? Exactly. Uh, I wish we could rename people in this game. I really would. Although then it would make it that much more heartbreaking when we have to fire someone because they're just not, you know, working out for us. Yeah, Microsoft buy buying ZeniMax is crazy news. I have no idea what that's gonna do. I mean, already a lot of the, um... The, the sort of Bethesda games and things like that were on, um, were on Xbox mostly, right, already? So I guess it just probably guarantees they stay exclusive. I don't know, were they available on PlayStation? I haven't bought, the last PlayStation I had, well, I guess I had a PS3, now that I think about it. Um, I can't remember for what. Oh, you know why? My, one of my favorite things to do on the PlayStation, actually, I think a lot of, I played a lot of the sort of Guitar Hero, Garage Band, the rock, rock Band type games. Uh, I also really like the little, um, uh, the little sack boy. What was he named? Uh, little Big Planet. Those are on PlayStation, right? God, I love those things. They were really good. They were really good. Mana, but we weren't that merciful in Darkest Dungeon. That's true, but I mean, Darkest Dungeon, you have no choice, right? Da -na -na -na. No, I didn't see any of the Lamans this weekend, which is a damn shame because that's actually the thing that sort of uh, first piqued my interest in motorsport with Le Mans, but I wasn't able to watch any of it. I'm going to go to the Yub Tubs and try to find some, you know, some highlights and things like that uh, on the Lamans channels and things, so we'll see how it goes. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they'll be on the Game Pass now. That's true. Like, the Game Pass is getting embiggened like crazy. Like crazy. You know, is gaming as a subscription model a good thing, a bad thing? I don't know. Only time will tell, I guess. Wasn't Skyrim exclusive on PS3 for a while? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. No clue. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, Sari? Okay, I'll, I'll definitely have to check out some highlights. We will see. All right. We're here to play some Motorsport Manager, which is wonderful. We played it last week. Uh, we did have a two-week hiatus, I think, before that because the Crusader Kings and everything coming out. But it is back, baby. We have three more races left this season. We are in our second season of the Asia-Pacific Super Cup. We are doing the Underdog Challenge, where we take the lowest, the bottom-ranked team in the bottom-ranked league, and we try to bring it all the way up to the top. In our second season here in the Asia-Pacific Super Cup, I have to say I feel like we're doing better than expected. And next season, we're definitely going to make a, make, making a run for promotion if we can pull it off one of our drivers Rio Montero who we we picked up as a rookie uh with a lot of potential not much going on but a lot of potential and holy crap has she been delivering currently sitting second in the standings um in her uh in her sophomore year I guess right of um is that is that what you would call it I don't I mean not American so I don't do the 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 American sort of years what how's it go does it go freshman sophomore junior senior it's purely an American thing, but, you know, it in, it infects every source of media and all these TV shows and things that goes in there. Um, she's a smooth operator. She is. Uh, Max Porter, who was doing very well for us before, uh, only currently sitting in 11th, which is unfortunate, but he's still he's actually a really good uh, team member regardless. In terms of the team standings, we are third overall with probably not much of a chance to improve beyond that. In fact, we'll be really fighting to, to maintain our third. Um... Team standings don't really matter because the payouts in this league are equal regardless of position, but it's still, I think, a good indication of how we've progressed. It's interesting that it's rating our drivers not very impressively, uh, which is a shame, but, you know, I think they're swell. So uh, let's see what we can do. Um, Max's contract does come up in four months, so we will have to be making maybe a decision as to whether we're carrying forward into the next year. His low smoothness does hurt him a lot. Um, he's, he does have to pit one extra time, basically, compared to, uh, to Monty, and that is hurting his performance substantially, but I'm not sure if we can pick up someone else. We do have some extra cash sitting around, which is great. Um, we could go, because we did just renew some sponsors, we could go and maybe design some more illegal parts to bring forward into the next season, or what we could do is we could just bank serious cash to invest in the, the chassis itself next season. Um... So those are both really interesting options. 
we have uh we have one illegal bar break but the non-illegal break is still pretty good uh engine of spec park we have two really good illegal front wings that we're going to carry forward gearbox is spec part if anything it could be rear wing i gotta say actually currently one of our rear wings is the best in the field um even if we didn't design an illegal one maybe we'd go ahead and design a second rear wing and see how much we can squeeze out if it's illegal or not i think we should probably carry it forward it's not very expensive and I think it seems like a fairly good idea, actually. Um, let's take a look at what we can do ring rear, rear wing wise. Burr, burr, burr. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think we might have RNG'd something really good with this. So, um, illegal reliability doesn't matter. So, I mean, we want like maximum rating, big current rating. I guess this one with the plus 30 is also illegal. And then we throw in a plus 25, which does give a peak performance of 777. I think that's exactly what we're looking to do. So we're not including, you know, no epic stuff, no of these freebies. Um, I mean, it could replace one of these with a random great component instead, but I think this is the way to go. Mm -hmm. My green screen is showing. Oh, right. Why? Move my camera a little bit there. Now it's not. Oh, I wonder why that is. Lighting hasn't changed. I wonder if something got nudged, so it's just slightly differently lit than normal. It's leaking. Lucky 7. Yeah, I think this is going to be a great idea, so let's get this um, on the way before the season ends. I think this is going to be the final part, though. I think that's going to be the final part that we design. And then after that, it's coming the next season, we're going to just dump, like, maximum chassis work. Or, or we're going to spend it on some god tier driver to replace Max with. We shall see. Scootin' is still happening. Um, a lot of the scouting that's happening right now isn't even something I'm necessarily interested in. Zoe Sharp. Damn, that's a shame. 94% marketability. Nearly maxed out in every category. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been really good. Da -da -da. Uh, yeah, I know my character's got that 5% off everything. It probably did save a substantial amount of money. Damn! Oh, that would have been, that would have been swell. Wouldn't it have? If we go and just sort based on people who don't currently have teams. So there's Zoe over there. Harry is currently pretty good. Uh, Enrique Lara again. God, we've looked at you before. Hey, driver and everything. The problem with Enrique, it was really low marketability. And I think we still need someone with better marketability. The pay driver part, I'm not sure is going to... Um, actually, it, would, that, would that be enough to compensate for the marketability? We will see. I'm not going to go on it right now. Yeah, we should star her. You're right. If we'd unstart her. Is she, is she even interested? She is interested. Huh. That is kind of interesting. Let's star you. You. And you. We'll take a look at you later. We could also take another look at Zoe over here. You never know. It might work out. Anyway, I think we're going to advance. Looks like we're going to have a rainy race at Sydney. Um, and including some rain in practice, which might be very helpful for us. I, we're debating getting rid of Max. His contract is going to be up at the end of the season. And we, um, we, we might swap them for someone who's stronger. All right, new illegal wing is coming in. Some scouting got done. That's fine. Okay. I think this is actually season six. I think we did four season in the lowest league. I think this is our sixth season. We've completed five. Tink. It's whiskey and chocolate. Ling and Mary Clown! Hey, Ling and Mary! Coffee, chocolate, ice cream, and you, my favorite combination. Well, thank you for that. Although, I have to admit, I'm not keen on coffee-flavored ice creams and things like that. Um, Essentia is, like, way into that, but not so much me. Um, I don't know why, just not so big into a lot of coffee-flavored things. All right, we're mostly focusing on performance. We're trying to max out... Um, is that the correct... Is it Okay, uh, work on this one. Yeah, there we go. I think we were still working on this wing, which we are using for the season. But get started on the new one, please. We're going to try to 
max out all the performance of the parts we're carrying over, which doesn't look like it's going to be much of a problem. Yeah, I'm not big on coffee flavored things. Um, I don't like uh, I don't like affogato either, which is uh, like coffee with espresso put on top of it. it. Just seems like a really good way to ruin coffee or ruin ice cream. Actually, to ruin both. Like I love ice cream. Oh, Rhea's been caught speeding. That's good for her marketability. Scouting, scouting. Lee is nearing the end of her career. Okay. Similar concerns. Yeah, well, we'll see what we can do. Uh, we can take a paid driver as a reserve. Um, if you have a paid driver's reserve, you only get half their paid driver amount in practice. Um, what is this? Uh, I'm not going to spend the money on fuel efficiency at this point because we're not winning this season. So there's no reason for us to spend money doing that, even though the fuel efficiency hit sucks. But it's not really, it's not, we can't win this season, so it's not worth spending the money on it. We'd rather put the money into next season instead. All right. Um, our sponsors are all set up. Yes, indeed. Do like the vamoose in there. That's going to be swell. Let's go to Sydney. All right. Track A. Ooh, it's another long one. Six kilometer laps. Only 24 laps. This is probably the race with the least number of laps in the season. Tire wear is high. We are expecting heavy rain in the race. Also, the temperatures, it's near freezing. Let's two degrees predicted on race day this is by far i think this is the coldest we've seen um so the soft compounds too bad we're not it's not with the ultra soft although the higher wear is high ultra soft would probably last like two laps around this track uh so the compounds we can run them really really aggressively and not worry about temperature um so if if there's going to be uh dry laps it might be the soft as opposed to the super soft and run it really really aggressively because temperature is not going to be a thing however we can probably expect that there's going to be some intermediate and wet um tire play in there what we'll do is during practice we'll probably we'll we'll just pick appropriate tire whether it's inter or wet or something like that um actually qualifying is expected to be clear maybe we will practice on the supers in as as try to get quality trim stuff it's probably what we want to do right da, da, da. i am missing the viking this hat sponsor yeah um i mean we have viking over here i suppose um what we'll do is we'll take the seventh and above uh it's it's fairly easy although not guaranteed to do it in a rainy day here's the thing in a rainy race there is more chaos i wonder if that'll increase the chance that we might be able to get third and above we typically tend to do better on rainy races because we can usually sort of optimize our tires a little bit more it also helps that montero has unbelievably good um, adaptability we just want to like roll the dice here and hope that we uh for third chaos is ladder that's true yeah well let's let's try it let's try it let's double check the part situation here um in fact we might even want to yeah Keep, make sure she's got the better parts, which is, I think, what we intended to arrange last time. Uh, looks at a glance like we are running all the best non-illegal parts, which is what we're going for here. That seems good. I don't think the rain can actually freeze. I don't think icing is actually a condition that can occur. I assume if ever at a racetrack there was actual freezing rain conditions, they would just, you know, not run the race. Um, I don't know if that's ever been a thing. I assume probably in the history of racing it probably has been. But anyway, let's go. Oh, yes, I am missing the Ferrari headset for the, the Superior Special Tactics. There you go, Ferrari branded. Thank you, thank you for that, Thrustmaster. Mm -hmm. bum, bum. Yeah, what we'll probably do is, I, I kind of like the idea, Traconi. Well, we could get inter-knowledge by practicing on it. Um, in the race, there's a good chance we'll just take the, um, the mechanics traits. Although, I can, I can recall one of them is not super impressive. Uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> Gonna find out Nur Oh, they had the Nurburgring in October. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That will be pretty cold there. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Boom, boom. Um. I mean, realistically, what we would do here, we would start practicing on slicks and then switch over to wets later on for our drivers not to crash. But I don't think crashing in practice is a thing. Um, I think what we are going to do is we're going to start on the super softs so that we can use it in quality. Because quality is supposed to be clear. 
Uh, so we'll be doing that on super sops and we'll try to get the best position we can possibly do. Um, this is a very crinkly track here. So we'll, uh, it does look like acceleration and high downforce bias is going to be okay. Um, I think here I probably won't mess with the sliders too much right now. I'll just change the gearing a little bit. Let me bring the suspension a little bit more clearly on the understeer side so that we know what direction to go in. Something like this is going to be okay because we'll know what direction to go in for both, and that's going to be fine. I am going to run you on the super softs, and we'll get that um, we'll, we'll get that quality knowledge. Uh, over here, same thing. We will shorten this somewhat. Uh, we'll leave them here, and again, we know kind of what direction to go into. We'll run them both on super softs, and there we go. Do, 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 do. Weight stripping wise, um, so this part is crucial. So I want to leave it above 80%. The rest of them I'm fine to bring down to 70%, although no lower than 70. We'll do something like this if I apply to the other car. Um, bum, 70, 75 can go down one extra notch over here. Done and done. Okay. Take practice. I love the practice minigame. Okay, send out. So we're going to be doing uh, short quality stints here. That's going to be for sure. We're going to do that. Okay, go out and send out here and the same thing. Short quality stints. So we can get that knowledge to help out with the actual qualification. And then bring in, bring in. Then we're going to do full laps. Whee! So when is Qu Quill going to murder Ria so Max can inherit all the good parts? Oh, man. That's what we need. We need a Motorsport Manager mod for um, for Crusader Kings 3. They have a Tony Hawk mod. They have a Vampire mod. They have all those things. All right. So downforce, we've got a while to go. We're poor, so we need quite a bit more downforce here, which is actually what we expected. I suspect we're going to stiffen up. Um, That's interesting. Doesn't he want... He was actually leaning towards the oversteer side of things, wasn't he? Wasn't on Max Car? Wasn't he here to oversteer? So I'm actually thinking, despite what the green bar looks like, we're actually going to do something like this. I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, you want an oversteer. So um, the green, the, the sweet spot for both cards is supposed to be in the overlap of the green areas for both. Let me do this and see what happens. And then the gear ratio will just bring back a little bit closer. And we'll uh, we'll do something like this. Worst case scenario, I mean, we sort of waste a stint, but it's going to be okay. Wow! We purpled the speed balance on Max right away. That's amazing. Okay, so lots more downforce. That's fine. Um, we want to soften the suspension a fair bit. And let me bring the gearing back. Well, as I say, it's not important that we end up on the, on the, the excellent spot here, because at least we know where it is, but we want it to be close, and that's at least fairly convenient. Um, you know what? That's not going to be enough. Let's give you even softer over here that's going to be fine and then yeah we'll uh, we'll just see what happens with something like that send out go 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 bring in bring in see a problem i see an opportunity to get intrigued practicing <laughs> our setup is better that's good here comes the rain now here comes the rain again F1 races after Germany are in places I don't expect that freeze in Bahrain and Abu Dhabi in December, for example. Yeah. You want to race it? Oh, yes. We've definitely won some races. Um, especially in the lower league. All right. We're at 94%. We did guess correctly for the handling. That's indeed what was supposed to happen. Downforce is at good. It was poor. Yeah, I think we have to go higher downforce here. Only something kind of like that. Um... Try something like this. Uh, I'll bring you in one more time because we may have to do a little bit more tweaking on the downforce. Although we're already at 94%, I suspect this is going to be... Um, this is going to be, I think, at least a 96. Maybe you don't have to come in again. Tell you what, then, Monty, stay out. And we can do a last tune at the end here. But I think it's going to be okay. So I don't feel the need to bring Monty in. Um, she just gets her quality knowledge. And yeah, we're going to keep her on slicks, even though in real life this would be a terrible idea. All right, downforce is now hitting great. Let's give it a little bit of a nudge and hope to find excellent. Let's see what this does. Handling was okay, is now good. I think it needs to be a fair bit softer over there. And then let's nudge the speed balance back in here uh, and do that. And actually, I feel pretty confident with Max as well. Just to get a bunch of experience. 
for us. Let's see if we can get the quality trim. Up to level 2 would be nice. Not sure if we'll do it, but we'll see how it goes. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Riaz won a race this season. That's true. Uh, did we... We podium very early in our first season of the Asia Pacific Cup. I don't know if we got any wins. <laughs> Alright, we're getting pretty good feedback from our drivers. That's nice to see. Oh, you want... You do want a little more stability in the corners. Okay. Bring you in a little quicker since you're actually asking for it. Come on in, Maxi Poo. Oh, shit. I don't know if we're going to get you out in time to do anything. Oh, I did ruin the handling after all. Oh. Really? I overshot. So it was good here. And there's no way I overshot the excellent spot. It's actually the other way around. He wants it stiffer. He wants it to the left of the good that was there before. Oh, damn. I didn't think that in a million years. Worst case scenario, we can go back to the 92. Hopefully this is okay. I actually don't know if you'll get any knowledge from this, but I'm going to try to send them out on it anyway. I don't know if this is going to count for anything. We did get to um, we did get the level two quality trim. That's good. Unfortunately, we are still in level one super soft. Uh, I don't think you get as much XP if there's a mismatch of things. I was hoping to get the next level just because it's going to be useful for the. Um... Did it? Did it just say I had good fashion sense? That's nice. Um, I was really hoping we we'd squeeze in the ultralights there to help out. Uh, fuel economy doesn't matter. Yeah, there's there's nothing there's nothing we need that will help because oh we didn't even get the level one of the attires. Yeah, it was just too wet, too long. Damn it. So, I mean, it doesn't matter whether I give her fuel economy or not. I don't know if they'll. this will result in them putting in fewer, less fuel for quality, which would be nice because you'd run faster. I don't think it makes a difference, but there's nothing else to put here, so it doesn't make a difference. Well, we got the quality trim anyway, so that's something. Max, how did we do? All right, we did get you up to 95. Interestingly enough, okay, so that was good handling. That's still good. I think there's another chunk of performance to be got um, but I don't really want to mess with the speed mount. 95 is okay. We might be able to squeeze out a little bit if I fiddle with things, but I don't really want to take that risk right now. Um, so it is dry currently for quality. We're going to go out on super soft, so that's going to be fine. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to use both super softs. We'll give them two complete stints on it and that's going to be okay. You're at 96. I think that's fine too. Yeah, we'll do two proper qualifying stints, uh, and that'll be okay. It might be nice in the actual race. Well, we'll still have one set of super softs because we don't know where the rain's going to come in yet. Uh, so it, there's, there's a possibility that things might work out that we would have wanted two super softs, but I find it fairly unlikely. I suspect we're okay. We could take the risk of quality and then adjust during the race. That's true. So, I mean, the handling, what we want is we want you to be stiffer by one notch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull back over here to make sure the speed balance where it is. Yeah, all right, let's 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 risk it. Okay, we've already done the weight stripping. We're good there. Eight qualifying. I'm gonna accelerate a little bit so that we get a bit of track grip for the first stint. Not much, but some. I mean, ideally not in traffic. go and go and then yeah for the final stint we'll wait for the max all right and i'm gonna automate this because i don't really care for it but up to, you know planning for some of the tire position stuff's gonna be okay yeah they always overheat their brakes they get their tire performance pretty good well he failed there Let's see how we do Flying lap. I mean, they're personal besting the sectors. Uh, Porter ending at third. Third and seventh right now, although plenty of people have yet to go. Lundquist is purpling the second sector. You can expect he's probably going to do fairly well. Porter currently sending in fourth. So we're just missing the sponsor objective here in quality, which is actually pretty impressive. Okay, minute and a half for the thing. We're going to want to make sure to get them out with about two minutes left. 
because their outlap's a little slower. All right, let's send out Monty here on a new set of supers. And then over here, yeah, we did get it up to 97, which is nice to see. Um, you can go out in a new set of supers as well. Auto, auto, good, good, good. Track grip. Didn't get worn in as much as we would have wanted, necessarily. So some people are beating Max's time. Stromby over here did a little bit better on a second stint, knocking Porter down. So we're really hoping Max can put in a real good lap here. It's whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. Let me get your clown again. Uh, hang on. I want to see. Oh, he re okay. Personal best sector one. Monty did not improve for sector one time. We're a little less concerned with Monty though. Come on, Max. You can do this, buddy. You can do this. I'll check on your message just one second, Lingy Barry Clown. Okay, personal best sector two. He improved his time, but did not improve his position, unfortunately. So we uh, we missed out on our sponsor objector for the quali. That's the way it's gonna go. Um, ba -da 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 -ba -bum. What was? Where's that message? Where's my streamlabs? Do do do. Didn't have my window open to be able to see that. The Lemming Ever Clown says, "An old man from Sydney called my girlfriend yesterday. She was very surprised and told me a boomerang, a bo a boomerang." It's so, that is really terrible. That you should feel shame and pride simultaneously. Banned. <laughs> All right. So our, what's our heavy rain look like? Well, it's definitely coming. Wow. There's going to be like one lap in here. Uh, actually, I think these, this chart mostly, uh, mostly goes. So first three laps, bone dry. Fourth lap, a little bit damp, but we could do on slicks. Fifth lap really would be an intermediate lap. And then after that, it's soaking wet. Soaking wet. So I think what we do is, I mean, we start on the, uh, the, the, the softest compound. We rip the tires apart with aggressive driving. And then we swap right to full wets. And that's what we do. We're not, we're not going to do any intermediate stuff in here. Let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, tire changes, quick fixes doesn't really matter. But what else are we going to do? Um, refueling and less fuel. It's, at least that's a, a something. Um, super softs are configured over here. Um, here's an interesting question. How do we want to fuel this up? Because it's that eternal thing of like, the pure math says fuel as little as possible. The practical math says sometimes... Not doing that. Well, okay, here's the thing. With Monty, because she refuels so fast, we definitely don't want to do it. But I'm wondering with Porter if it might be worth having a quick pit stop for this first one. Uh, admittedly, his, his speed will be a little lower the first few laps, but we just quick pit him um, without refueling, as maybe the plan. And yeah, I think we pit him first because Monty will do a little bit better in the rain on slicks, a little bit longer because of her adaptability. Um, but I'm actually wondering if we if we put him out here fully fueled. Refueling might hurt double stack. Um, I guess that's that is true. Um, the other thing is depending on Monty's going or sorry, Porter's going to be Porter's leading, right? He got the better qualifying. So he's going to be ahead. So if we quick, quick pit him without refueling, we can get him in, swap his tires, get him out, and then pull uh, Rhea right behind him. We can pit them on the same lap. Uh, as long as they're not like within two seconds of each other or something like that. If they're more than that, because a tire change doesn't take very long. I think this is our plan. So Porter, Max is going to be fully fueled. It'll, it'll make him a little slower. I think the AI mostly fully fuels. I'm not sure. Uh, we will see. But yeah, we'll, we'll start him off just like this. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you like it? Okay, good. Homing pigeon. I was reading your message. I'm like, is he saying the same thing I'm saying? And it looks like yes. All right. Uh, so for Monty, we're also going to super soft, but we're not going to fully fuel her. So the assumption is we're going to go, uh, pro we're going to drive a full four or maybe full five laps. Um, it might depend a little bit on how we're feeling about the tire situation and exactly how the rain is when we actually get here. Cause this is just, you know, sort of a fuzzy prediction. Um, let's fuel her for five laps. Better too much than too little. So five, and we're going to run in red engine, red engine mode. So five times 1.3 is 6.5 laps of fuel. Do I put in seven or do I put in six? Six means we can't run red engine mode for the, I think I will put in seven laps worth of fuel. Now she does have the fuel saving thing, but it's not, it's not much. It's not much. We'll put in seven. Um, and so she'll be pitting with a little bit of fuel left over, but that's hardly the end of the world. Um, and it's better to run more aggressive engine mode than run slower, I think, with a little less fuel. I like this a lot. The handling could be, but we're at 96. So I don't want to mess with the, uh, the, the setup now. Um, there was maybe a little bit more to find there, but it's going to be okay. We're going to start off double red. Boom, 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 boom. He still has first lap hero max. Um, so that might help at the start, but again, he's going to be pretty heavy with fuel. And yeah, we're starting in the quality tire. Well, I mean, they're new tires, right? Put them both on new tires. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're both going to be on the super softs for the startup because they don't have to last very long. In fact, they'll probably last too long. Okay. I'm tense. I forgot how tense I get in this game. So much. Angle heart right in front of us. More like angle fart. One, two, three. Four, five lights. Lights out and away we go. Oh my God, Engelhart with a hugely fast start. Uh, Max was gonna try to overtake a little and then get boxed in. In fact, losing a little bit of placement over there, which is a damn shame, a real damn shame. Uh, Monty, I think she was starting at 11, so I think she dropped a little bit as well. We're gaining a little bit now, but yeah, I'm thinking. I think the AI may have uh, underfueled here. Maybe the reason that Max is having a bit of a hard time. Um, although he's squeezing past a few people now, there's just a lot of traffic in front of him. A ton of traffic. It's hard for him to find anything in here, but we're going to see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Could preserve the new supers for later in case, uh, yeah, we could have, we could have, actually, you're right. That's maybe what we're saying with the quality. We could have maybe started on one of the used quality tires since it's going to be such a short run. But, um, I was worried not so much about the longevity of the tires, but I want to make sure, make use of the performance band as much as possible, um, in here. Temperature is, uh, I think it's climbing a little from the start, but not too much. What's the actual temperature here? Yeah, it's pretty low. Rain going to start soon. <laughs> Ingle do more like Ingle poo. <laughs> nice. All right, Porter back up to six. Monty's down to 15th, which is, or 16th now, which is annoying, although it'll clearly make the double stack a lot easier. Not too worried about anything over there. What's the forecast? Uh, it's going to be soaking wet after the sixth lap. Just absolutely soaking wet. This tag, is it indicating the start of sixth lap or the end of? I guess it's lap zero. So that must be after six laps completed, actually. I was assuming we'd be pitting on lap five, but we might pit on lap six, which means Monty's fuel might be a little bit... Yeah, I think I may have misinterpreted uh, this graphic slightly. I'm wondering if I should drop her down to orange. Because, yeah, that must be after six laps completed. I have to drop her down to orange if we want to push this. Damn. I uh, I misread what this represented. I thought it was start of lap six going to be soaking. Let's see if we can do it. Um, is that going to work out at all? Might might not matter. Get and get them under. No, I think I think I think we're okay. All right, the rain is starting. This is such a long lap. All right, so this is lap three. So they've completed two and a half now. Yeah, you know you can do three, three. I think you're okay. Yeah, maybe the timeout, the timing will work okay. It's 
We could do, like, on, on a lap that's a little bit moist is going to be fine. But yeah, definitely not on the soaking wrap, because you do lose a lot of time. People have pitted already for full wets. It seemed a little early to me to pit then, but they might be hoping to get ahead of people. All right, you're starting to see the spray. We're definitely... Um, when this gets to the E or the R, you're definitely in the you would prefer intermediates weather. Which would be a perfect time to box at that point, so that we can, you know, be in the pits while we're changing things. Um, is now the time to do it? Oh my god, look at this hill! I never noticed this! Oh my god, this corner would be death because your car would be so light at this point here. It would be so easy to just fly off into the wall in real life. That is an unbelievable just sudden drop. Wow. Yeah, I think um, I think we pit this lap. And I think we do double stack. All right, so you're going to be coming in for full wets. Um, the full wets last for 12 to 14 laps on max. So 12 times 1.3 if we did something like that, 15.6. I'm going to fuel them for 16 laps. As far as we know, well, the weight rain is going to go down. We don't know exactly uh, when it'll be dry enough not to do anything. Um, oh, no, wait. We don't want to fuel you. It was the whole idea. To be as quick as possible. Although the tire change is going to be damn fast. Although, we're not going to put one lap of fuel in because the first lap costs you four seconds instead of one second. No, no, we're not going to do anything like that. Uh, pit strategy... Um, we can go safe. It shouldn't really change the time much. And actually, that's a pretty big... <gasps> Did I not cycle the pit crew? I don't think we cycled the pit crew at the end of last uh, last stream. Oh, shit. Alright, meanwhile, Monty is going to pit. She can do up to 15 to 16, 17 laps out there um, on this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just completely fuel her. She's just going to come out with a completely full fuel tank because, um, her tires might outlast this. She's going to be, she's going to be limited that way. Oh man. No, we're going to budge. Budge, fudge, fudge. All right. Max is going to be coming in any second now. I got confused as to which side of the track the pit stop was on. I'm like, wait, he didn't pit. No, no, never mind. Everything is fine. She's in the pits behind him. I don't know how long there was. Oh my god, I think it was a perfect double stack. And we get a mistake. Jesus Christ, even on safe. I think that was a perfect double stack. Unfortunately, then there was a mistake, which sort of ruined how impressive it was going to be. She lost three seconds to a tire mistake. What a damn shame. Um... He was maybe not going to... Yeah, I think we're going to drop his, his uh, strategy here to orange for a sec. And he might do a couple laps on orange engine mode. Because I think his tire was going to outweigh at last. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's go here. Whenever you come in to pit for fuel, I think it's going to be a good time for intermediates, actually, there, Max. That was a damn shame. All right, so theoretically, hopefully, we are uh, currently going around. I mean, this, it wasn't quite wet enough for full wets yet. Right around the time it hits around the K-ish, that's really full wet kind of timing. Um, so we weren't necessarily running much faster than everyone who was still out on slicks. On the other hand, Porter's currently running around in first place. Monty, 13th place, just passed a bunch of people in the pits. Still not a fantastic position for her, but it's something. But yeah, no, I think I think I guess the pit must have worked out okay, you guys. If Monty, okay, if she hadn't had the mistake in the pits, she would be here. She would be in ninth place. If she hadn't lost that three and change seconds in the pits. She'd currently be in ninth place. <laughs> Luckily, his pit went okay. If he had had a mistake in the pits... Dream of, thank you very much! If Max had had a mistake in the pits, it would have slowed him down, and it would have slowed down Monty, which would have been awful. Awful. What was that? Dream of! Good morning from Jakarta! Oh, man! 
Uh, finally made it to Asia. Really happy to catch a stream from here, but jet lag is a bitch. I forgot how to throw a boomerang, then it came back to me. What is it with the terrible boomerang jokes today? Okay, boomers. Uh, looks like the tires are getting a little hot. So let's drop you down to neutral and neutral. I'm actually surprised how quickly they heated up. Actually, th I think it was a mistake to run them on red this whole time. Uh, we need them to last longer than this. I'd kind of forgotten what was going on, but... I don't know. I mean, the temps were okay. We did get to push them on red for a lot longer. With Monty, she's right behind someone. Do we actually want to put it back on red? Or maybe we should have held off sooner? Well, let's run this for a little bit and see what's going on here. Well, some people are trying to conserve things. Yeah, I got too distracted by, by all your terrible jokes, maybe. <laughs> well, let's put it on yellow. I suspect the temperature will drop pretty quickly on yellow, given how cold it is. In fact, the sweet spot may have just been to run on orange the whole time to, like, maintain temperature in the tires. And in, a, in an efficient fashion. I don't know. Man, this, this racetrack is nothing but corners. And not a lot of fast corners either. There's a lot of hairpins. Here's the, the big one here. I don't know if that counts as a full hairpin, but just about. And we got about a 90 degree corner here. That's probably the fastest one. And a little sort of wiggly chicane would be fast. But I don't know. Ooh, the sun's out. Look at the shine. I mean, it's still, like, 100% wet here. Yeah, I'm really worried we may have uh, burned through our wet tire a little too fast here. Oh. We'll see. Um, he's got to go a lot more. Let me drop his fuel mode down to orange. Actually, same with both, actually. We're going to drop both their fuel modes down to orange. There's a lot more wet tracks here, wet laps, than, uh, than I think I kind of had in mind. I'm really worried that we burned through the tire too fast. And maybe also the fuel too fast. Yeah, the tra track temps are non-existent. Currently 2 degrees. Well, there's the air. We don't know the track temperature. There's not a value for that. Um, yeah. We can go to zero in the wet. So the wets don't have a cliff. Uh, we still want to avoid going to the lowest performance band if we can. But with the wet tires, we... Well, or we want to delay how, or, and reduce how much time we spend in the lowest performance band. So there's still some incentive to pitting before we hit 0%. Uh, one of the big issues here will be the length of the circuit. Let's keep an eye on Max on this lap as he crosses the start-finish line. And let's try to get a sense of how much percentage he's going to lose here. He's crossing. He crossed at 60. It just went down to 59%. Just started 59% as he crossed through. Let's see how much percentage he loses on a lap. Because we're going to have to optimize his pit time based on something like that. Looks like, yeah, the tire temps are dropping on orange mode. You know what? It was actually not a mistake to run on red. Because as it turns out, we have to run on red to stop the tires from freezing and turn into ice, cubi uh, ice cubes. Icicles. He was about halfway through his lap now, and he's lost 4%. Just, you know, again, he just dropped the 59 as he started. He just dropped the 55 now, just dropped the 54 there, so that's 5% gone. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot I moved my camera over when we, um, from, for the last game. So Max is crossing now, 53, 52. So he used, um, he used, well, let's say 7%. Used technically slightly less than 7%, but it'll be a good number. So if he passes by the pit entrance and he's got, if he's got under 10%, we should probably pit him. Technically, if he's sitting at 8 9%, he might be okay, especially if we can drop the um, the tire mode a little bit. Although, as long as the tires aren't going to overcool. You figure he's got 7 laps left in there? Which means he really is going to be fuel limited. Now, in 7 laps, that actually might be a great time to turn over to the intermediates. Because, let's see. Yeah, I mean, 7 times 7 is 49%, right? Let's go to medium. So he's on medium, he'll only actually have the six laps of fuel. So he's going to have to pit when he's fuel limited, is going to be the answer. Monty's moving up. Is she? Well, she was 13th last time we checked. Did she get passed and retake? She's actually in a heck of a little fight here. Let's uh, temporarily give her give her the beans. Double red. Get past Ingle Do. Get in there. Come on. 
She's trying. Ooh! To me, that looked like collision. I don't know. Racing incident, I suppose. Uh, you're you're going to have to get past here sooner. We're going to have to drop you a fair bit down in your performance there, Monty. Oh, she's losing. Gaining a little here. All right, sorry. I'm going to go to, uh, to double orange for you. Sorry, Monty, but Max is going to have to get our attention. Leading the race, and he's got... He's, uh... Nearly eight seconds ahead, although second place is closing a little bit. Uh, second place is running in red engine mode right now. Can't blame him. I would love to run more aggressively, but it's just going to turn out that it's going to be really great right now that when uh, when Max is uh, is out of fuel is going to be the perfect time for us to switch to intermediates. It's just... Remember, you only get increased tire wear from min-temp if you're on the lowest driving style, so running in normal is not a problem. Are you sure about that? I'm not saying I'm not saying I doubt you, but are you sure about that? Because I don't remember seeing that when I did my decompile of the software. It doesn't mean it's not true though. I think uh, well, I, we should actually. You're right. When um, when he crossed the pit entrance last time, I should have checked his fuel and done a little bit of math to figure out what mode he should be in. Um, you know what? Actually. Let's, uh, let's bring him back up to double orange, which actually I think is what you were maybe supposed to be on. Because we're going to want to get off to full wets sooner maybe than expected, actually. So as is, he can do three more laps with the fuel. And probably with the tire, although we'll see what happens now that he's on full red. Yeah, our math was on orange. I shouldn't have gone to yellow. That was actually a mistake. Dude, I did change up your strategy. You didn't kiss bit past Ingle, dude. Deal with it. I guess her engine mode can be backed up to red. She's tire limited, not fuel limited. And actually, she's going to want to change up soon enough, too, to intermediates. You know what? Go there as well. Okay, so now he's entered his lowest performance band on this tire. It's still wet enough right now. We're going to do... Yeah, we're going to do one more lap on this, and then we should be able to... Oh, hold on. Um, if we were to pit now, there'd be 10 laps left. Oh, shit. It's a little wet for intermediates right now. Next lap. Next lap, they'll, they'll, they'll both come in. Um, we may have to delay Monty's one more. Luckily, she's got the adaptability. She can make do with the full wets a little bit longer. There you go. He's going through now. So he's coming in next lap for intermediates, and he'll finish the race on that. And I think that's going to be bang on perfect. Uh, nine laps remaining. How's his engine condition? Engine's fine. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to fuel him with nine laps remaining so that he can run red engine mode until the end of the race, which is going to be... Uh, he needs 12 laps of fuel to do that. There we go. Like that. Uh, we've got to keep him on safe for the strategy, which sucks, but what are you going to do? Double stacking shouldn't be an issue. Excellent. On the other hand, um, I don't think I want to double stack, because I actually think she's going to be fine in her wet... Uh, although I guess she's hitting the lowest performance band. Yeah, they're so far apart. You're right. Let's go and pit. Um, so she's going to have one fewer lap. Uh, oh, no, she still have nine. That's right. Unless she gets lap. We'll do this. So she'll have 12. We'll give her the intermediates. Engine's okay. Yes. I'm going to do this. We're keeping him on safe because the the um, the risk is so much higher. And she's going to have a short pit time. Oh, it's a whiskey and chocolate there. Uh, small speed. Hey, Quill! Or yeah, Quill, long time viewer since Banish. Whoa. Which is being a butthead and saying that I don't have an account right now, but I have a question for you and chat. Okay. Hold on. I'll wait for the next message, I guess. I'm 
just gonna do that. He was pretty close to the break point of fuel. I'm gonna just drop him in engine mode here just to make sure he pits actually with more than one. one. There we go. That's gonna be good. Okay, that's our final pit stop. So Porter's coming out. Ooh, someone's coming in from the mechanical work. So Porter came out in seventh, but everyone ahead of him has yet to pit. Well, everyone else in the game other than Parks. Parks is the person who did that weird like six pit stop race that time. Um, everyone else still has to pit, so. And yeah, it's we're entering perfect intermediate weather right now. No mistakes this time. That's going to be good. Uh, we're going to set the uh, tires to push just to make sure nothing weird happens which should be fine look at he's already i think he's already running quite a bit faster than the people who are still on wets because yeah it's just outside of the wet optimal zone right now they're starting to lose a little bit of the form plus they're worn tires on top of that which isn't going to help their cause i think porter's got the win set up here and Monty would be in a very good position if not for that pit box mistake. Ruined her race. Absolutely ruined her race. I mean, I'm not saying that she would have been in podium, but there would have been a chance of it anyway. She definitely would have been in contention. That's a shame. Actually, she can probably run much more tacky on her tires. We'll have to keep an eye on her temperature. But because of her smoothness, she can make the tire last a lot longer. They have the same amount of laps to do. Like, she pitted second, but she, she finished the race second. All right, Rhea up into 15th. She'll pass some more people as they pit as well. Uh, Max, yeah, if you can squeeze by him on the inside. Perfect. I was going to... Yeah, maybe I will give him... Hold on, attack, just to help with this as he gets through this sequence of corners. Okay, go back to push now. That should be fine. I mean, he'll pass these people as they pit, but we want to make sure that he's got as much speed right now so that when all these guys come out of the pits, he's as far ahead of, as possible. Monty, how are you doing? Oh, you're sitting six seconds behind someone. Uh, and you're already on double red. It's not like I can give you any more go juice. And Max is coming through the start finish over here. Seven laps remaining. Um, so seven laps times 1.3 equals 9.1. And he's got enough fuel. He should be able to finish on red mode the entire time. And with Monty, if she passes through with at least 9.1 or higher, in fact, she will be, I think, a little bit higher because she did pit with a little bit of extra to spare, and she's got her time server. Yeah, she can finish the whole race on red, assuming the engines hold out, and they are just fine. All right, Porter there, and he's still closing. Like, that's the thing. These guys ahead of us have to pit, um, so they're going to be behind him, but even if not, he's catching up, which is great. People ahead, people behind. Monty in ninth overall. I'm going to drop her tire down to orange here so that it doesn't keep gaining heat, at least not as quickly. Air temperature is still quite low. Track's looking okay that way. Yeah, Monty might move up five places. That's true. Um, do Porter's fuel okay? You said at the top. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so e e we are. We're good with, uh, with Max's uh, fuel. We'll do another calculation when there's a few laps remaining. Just to make sure, but we'll see. There you go. More pitting is happening, so Monty should go up in places pretty quickly here. In fact, she should end up in fourth in a second. Now, she is four seconds behind Stromby, who's actually in third. Proper. Got more risky and chocolate from small speed. We're gonna hang on. We're nearly the end of the race. Oh, and plane goes hills! Thank you very much. We're gonna read those messages in just a second. I cannot take my eyes off the action here. Four seconds there. She's not gaining currently. Ooh, the temps are still going up. A little less water on the track, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to put her down to neutral to stop the overheating from becoming a problem. Hmm. Ooh, and these guys are running aggressively in their tire modes here. That not that means she's gonna have a bit of a hard time catching up, but we'll see what happens. Monty's still in the points. You're right, which is great for her personal uh, chance at maybe like us as a team. Well. Depending on who Partana and Stromben uh, race for. Like, I don't know who belongs to what team here. Um, they have a little color codes. It might be a good thing to keep track of. Um, if the team that's currently first overall doesn't get any points, and both my drivers score points, there's... I think we're not mathematically eliminated from the, the championship. I think if we 
if we podium every race from now on, um, and the person at the top doesn't get any points at all for the rest of the season, I think we can win it. That's a pretty big stretch. I don't remember what the standings are. Okay, um, let's do some lap math here with Porter. So we're crossing here. We've got four laps remaining. We need 5.2 laps of fuel. We're just under, I think because the uh, the fuel wear on this uh, is a little intense. Uh, we're just below that, so likely we'll have to do the last lap on orange. And with Monty, the tire temp is okay right now. Oh yeah, she's going to have lots of fuel. She has a little bit more, she uses a little bit less, it's going to be great. But yeah, Max might have to orange, might have to yellow his final lap, but that doesn't matter. He's got a huge, huge lead right now. As his engine condition, it's fine. Oh, Monty just personal best, uh, Sector 3. Not a lot of water on the track. Trophies for standing. Constructors. Uh, oh, and this is this predicted? Okay, so... Ooh. So, as it stands, we'd only have a six-point differential with Team Kirov. It's whiskey and chocolate! Wow. If we end like this. I don't know which one of these two is Team Kirov. Um, Team Kirov is the red. Okay, so Park Cannon over here. That's too bad. If Park Cannon crashes right now, though. Have we clinched third? Oh, yeah, we have. Okay, we've clinched. Uh, third place in the championship should hopefully be okay. We'll see. Yeah, I don't. Monty's not catching up, unfortunately. We got more whiskey and chocolate coming in. We'll check on that in just a second. Um. Max, let me go and put you onto orange now. We'll come back in a second. Eight seconds ahead. Temperatures are still going up here on orange. Might want to bring you down a notch. And then I think I can bring Monty up a notch again. Front spike strips. Fire red shell. <laughs> anyway, we can attach offensive weapons to our cars. Everyone's thinking the same way. Uh, it, ooh, he's actually gaining some time, which is interesting. Front ring is getting a little rough, but you're you're gonna be okay. Just bring the car home, Max. You can do it. You're gonna be fine too, there, Monty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not enough race left. Uh, she's she's six seconds behind now. Perfect different yellow star. We need some mushrooms. Okay, we'll just leave him in orange because that's going to be good enough. Uh, she's got a huge gap in both directions here. How's her engine? It's fine. I'm going to drop her down to orange just because we can. In real life, we'd want to drop it down because we'd want to preserve the engine for future races. Because there is a limit to how many engines you can run throughout the season. Otherwise, you start taking some penalties. Uh, but we are racing in the older style of Formula 1 where, I don't know, we get a brand new engine every single race. No spending limits. All right, Max, this is your final lap. Actually, your engine is fine. You've got tons of fuel. Let's just finish you off that way. That's going to be okay. We can probably do something like that as well. And you're going to be okay as well. We're going to go ahead and do that. We've got more whiskey and chocolate coming in. Jam Boss, thank you very much. We're going to read those messages as soon as the race is over. Final race over there. Um, how do you turn off notifications for a goddamn application so that it's Creative Cloud telling me there's a stupid update right now? It's popping up over my screen and hiding things. Oh my god. And Luca! Yeah, you can still do maintenance. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Final lap. So we are going to end this, unless there's a sudden last minute crash. We are going to end this first and fourth. I'm happy we took the, um... I'm happy we took the extra bonus. I'm also really happy Max did so well in qualifying. That was a big help. Big help. But clearly our strategy kind of worked out here. Max! P1! P1 for Max! Woohoo! And Monty, I mean, fourth place we are still happy with. I mean, it's like sucks in comparison, but come on. Really good race, really enjoyed it. Good job, everyone. Oh, she actually purpled the, uh, the final sector there at the end of it. Excellent stuff. Just as the track is drying enough that we want to switch to slicks. Not that anyone's going to pit on uh, right at the end like this. Huge. 
Now, what if Partanin has an illegal part and drops two places? Oh! oh. One can only hope. Um, who's her partner? Oh, way down here, Sevilla, who's not earning any points this time. That's good to see. Word Monty have ended with fresh crew and no errors. It's hard to tell at this point because, you know, that, that three second gap, we couldn't necessarily expect her to still have a three second gap now. She definitely would have come out ahead of a lot more traffic. I suspect it would have been, a, without the mistake, we might have been able to see a one-two finish. That is so heartbreaking. Normally, I cycle the uh, pit crew in between streams, um, but I was a little bit... I had to run a bunch of errands and stuff this morning, so I was a little bit distracted, uh, which is why normally, you'll notice at the start of the stream, usually we're ready to go into the next race and I've got everything prepped, uh, but not this time here. No no penalties applied, which is a shame. Luckily, uh, they didn't get like a fastest lap or pole position start or anything like that, so they did not get as many points as they could have. Otherwise, Max Porter taking eight, Rhea with three, that is need the 11 predicted, and then six for Team Kirov over here. So yeah, we closed the distance by five points. Max Porter also made up a bunch more places. He was 11th in the standings. He's now eighth overall here uh, and in quite tight contention to gain some more places. It will be very hard to, for Rhea to win the driver's championship, but only four point differential. Wasn't it going to be a five point six? No, I guess this was right. So we're four points behind for the draw, five points to come out ahead. Wow. They lost the fastest lap on the last lap. Oh! So they were going to have more points, but they lost the fastest lap. Someone stole it, which was great for me. Holy crap. That is monstrous. I had not realized. All right. Let's take a quick look at the, uh, the whiskey and chocolate contributions here because this is so, so very exciting. Uh, so let's see. Yes, there was Dream Of. And now, then Small Speed, uh, which, which I read. Uh, okay, then small speed. All oh, right, this is the question for chat. I have an HP Omen with an i5-7400 and an NVIDIA GTX 1063G. C CK3 is maxing out all the time. Is it better to upgrade the CPU or GPU or just get a new PC outright? Well, first of all, small speed, two things. Which part of, what what part of it is maxing out? If you open your, um, your task manager, you should be able to get specs on whether it's a CPU or GPU maxing out. Now, something maxing out your, say your GPU, for example, is not necessarily a bad thing because a game, to a certain extent, should try to use 100% of your GPU, right? It should just try to use as much as it can. Sitting at 100% doesn't mean it's necessarily a problem. Um, if you're getting really bad frame rates or something and your GPU is maxed out, then that would be something to consider. The thing is, I gotta think that with a 1060 and three gigs, you got more than enough for CK3. It might be the processor. I don't know what the benchmarks are for an i5-7400. There is a great site. Let me link a couple of things to you. Uh, CPU benchmark. Um, so I like... Uh, this site over here um, to be able to have a good idea of how my processor compares to other things. Um, and you can get a good sense of... Um, did Maritzen do it for us? Secret agent Maritzen stealing the fastest lap and help us get two extra points closer to winning the championship. What a bro Maritzen is, even when he's not on our team. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, I like that. There's another one. If you just search for like video card benchmark, basically the same site. Um, it's a great way to sort of compare, uh, check price points and things like that. You might be surprised with a cheap upgrade, or you might be like, you know what? I have to go, I have to spend like hundreds to get like a noticeable amount of improved performance. There's no reason to upgrade that. So it's a good way to kind of keep an eye on things. Um, and that's what I usually do because I'm not really up to date on the latest techie stuff. Um, so, but, uh, hopefully in chat, we'll be able to help you out. Uh, anyway, uh, that was, that was from small speed. We got Plain Coast Hills. Thank you very much for that. Oh no, it's, I can already tell it's another, it, what is with the Aussie jokes today? Why do mother kangaroos hate it when it rains? Because the kids have to play inside. <laughs> Tough race day in Sydney. Uh, it was a great race day for me. Uh, let me tell you, uh, boy dove zinge says, I am finally going back to work and want to thank you for all your videos. I was on disability due to a car accident. Holy shit. Nothing too serious, just muscle problems, which is 90% back to normal. Love the CK3 videos, by the way, and Aurora 4X was fun, and the Motorsport Manager. Thank you very much, Boyd. Very appreciated. JM Boswick coming in as well, says, strategy tip, if your manager has a high enough intrigue, you can actually abduct the other racers. <laughs> now that would be a good way to build a driver stable. Um, abduct schemes. 
Luca, thank you as well. It's not much, but showing my appreciation for many years of content, starting with your early Civ 5 content. Thank you for the countless hours of entertainment. Well, thank you very much, Luca. It's really, really appreciated. And Belf Knight coming in to say, P1 finish. Ah, yeah. Oh, man. That, what, what a great result over here. What a great result. Um, skills keep going up over here. Get that sponsor money. We didn't get it in the uh, the quality, but we got it for the win, which is nice to see. Murder scheme on chairman to get infinite money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. First, let's check to see if there's anyone we would like to hire over here. Um, you are too low on stamina. You're so low, you've got a, like a built-in mistake chance. So we're definitely going to just drop you out. Um... 15 tires is nice, but it's not paired with a good refueling. I don't really care about the fixing stat. This guy, maybe. He's keen. He can also run the rear jack okay. He can run either jack okay, but actually, we have a really good jackman. Um, on both. I think we've got like 18s and 19s for the jacks. I don't know if we really need to hire people. Uh, let's, let's do some major subbing over here. Holy crap. Uh, this is really, really bad. Wow. Yeah, look how, look how tired Neville is. This is shameful that we didn't get around to it. Um, so right now, our best rear jacker, who's not exhausted, is only a 15. With 87 stamina. I think we get Nykus here as a good uh, backup jackman. Yeah, it's too bad he's not Hugh. Oh, and mistakes drain stamina, that's true too. Uh, oh, we're max on pit crew. Okay, well, let's let's wait a second and see what our deal is then. Um, front jack. Best one. We do have a 19 front jack who's currently fully rested, so that's good. All right, Neville. So we want to replace you with someone who is good at tires and front. We've got Nunes over here. Nunes, that's going to be okay. Another good tire and refueling if we can... Uh, is probably Curran as a best pick. 18 tires is the best, and actually 16 refueling uh, is the best of the people who aren't tired in any way whatsoever. So fantastic over there. Um, Dune, uh, we don't care about the fixing stat. All we're looking for is a high tire number. Uh, so of the people who aren't tired, we've got a... <laughs> tired. we got a 13. I think the 13 is the best non... Oh, 14, sorry. It's 14 is the best non-tired tire. And then I guess... 13 over here with Bono would be the second best non-tired tires. Something like that. Now that begs the question, Lodter, are we keeping you around? He's fully rested. He's at a 96, and yet I feel no desire to put him anywhere. Um, he can't do tires. He can do front rear jack okay, but we're looking to maybe swap as a better one. Uh, Fletux... Could be, yeah, actually that, just as much. He at least can do, like a 12-12 tire refueling. Well, it used to be okay. It's not impressive really right now. I guess, yeah, he's not great either. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. I don't know if we need to hire anyone, though. I think we need to fire him. Yeah, this guy, um, DeBeza, has made two mistakes. Now, which is weird, he doesn't have a base mistake chance. Ah, 3%. Hold on, really? Well, that's at current tiredness levels, I think, though. I think when the exhaustion goes away, the mistake chance goes away. I don't think he's inherently... He's got 97 stamina. I think part of the problem is, like, he might have just gotten unlucky once, and we might have double-stacked him before as well, too. Um, I don't think I'm going to hire... I might not, um, I might not purge. Who are we thinking? We we're thinking of Keen, potentially, right? Or no, well, Keen or there. Are we, is Dakar in any way something we're imagining? I think the answer is no. I'm going to reject him. I'm going to leave the other two in the pool, I think. Now, we did talk about getting rid of him. I'll leave him for now. We do have an empty spot. Um, I guess he does cost us money per race, even if we're not using him, but not much. Hold off for a second here. Now, the ones I am running, making sure... I don't think we've got anyone who's about to be out of contract. 
I think there's a lot of people with four races left, which is going to be fine. I think I renewed everyone basically at the start of the season, so we're going to be okay there. Um, but da 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 da. Okay. What's the whiskey? Oh, small speed again. CPU maxes out when auto saving and then running 80 to 95% of this time. GPU running at 90, 85 to 90% all the time. So I'm going to ask RAM 16. Okay. RAM 16 gigs is great. You don't have any problem there. I would suggest, I think your video card situation is hundred percent fine. I suspect if you are looking for something to upgrade, I think your CPU is probably what, what is limiting you um, more than anything else. Uh, again, I don't know where yours comes in at the chart, but to me, that seems like, uh, the, the upgrade point would be the CPU. Okay. Da, 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 interview. I will accept an interview. McNeil Racing's Engelhart, quite a bit of disaster. Finishing down in sex. What's your thing? Um, you know what? I'll just say, you know, he's fine. Now what's interesting about this, he's willing to discuss terms with me all of a sudden. Or Engelfart. Eh, he's got too much contract. But that'll stick around for a while. It'll be kind of interesting. Oh yeah, and if you're on a hard drive, and if, if you find it's really stalling on the autosave, that might be hard drive limited. If you're on a hard drive as opposed to an SSD, that would be a, a good point of, uh, of fixing. I'm going to do a little save here. I don't normally do a save between things, but just in case we get a weird crash, I would hate to have to redo that race. Uh, oh, it's actually eight races are complete. Go. It would really suck to replace that race. Uh, I think we can just advance the time. Okay, well, here's the thing, though. Things have slightly changed, because there's actually a possibility we could win here. There's a chance. Oh my god, rain in Vancouver. Rain in Vancouver. You get on this page somewhere do you get a place where it compares your others no eh? it's too bad current best oh yeah i guess right over there um how many off chance is there some sort of crazy ass shit we could pull off we could we could roll the dice with an illegal car or even like a a low condition one with this The, the max doesn't really help it, it, here because we may not have enough time to improve it. This actually wouldn't be better than our, our current best. Oh, uh, well, that's probably best illegal. So if we did something like this, we'd spend a shit ton of money, for example. What's important for the next race? Okay, medium speed corners, high speed corners. So, okay, let's consider suspension... What's our actual best? So or rather, our actual worst is 569 for our suspension that we're actually running. Could we get a better suspension for the race? <clears throat> it's whiskey and chocolate. It's so awkward with these parts. I'm 69. It would be 615. It would be nine days before the race. I don't think, I mean, we would, we could focus this on being the only part we're improving reliability for, but it's a crucial part, which means it's more likely to break down as well. I don't think there's anything we can squeeze out. We're just going to have to trust that we've got what we, what we've got and it'll, it'll get the job done as is. We have to have faith. More whiskey and chocolate. Who dat? Oh, it's no one. Oh, hey, no one. Um, I keep meaning to ask you: Are you on? Are you on Twitter? Uh, because I did get in a couple more uh, Babylon episodes, and um, 
Oh yeah, last week I didn't scroll down for the pit crew. Yeah, but we did this week at least. Um, so I, I was like, oh, I should start some discussion stuff over here uh, with some Babylon things. I'm, I'm getting right about the username, right? It is you? With the Babylon 5 interest? Maybe I'm getting wrong between people. Um, bum, 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 bum. You're on Twitter, a different handle. Okay. Well, well send, me a, send me an at tweet or something. I know who to do, or maybe I should start a, a separate, uh, maybe I should start a separate handle for talking about TV shows. I don't know. All right, we will have a new uh, sponsor. Let's just advance. Oh, no, before I do this, I wanted to double check. Let me clear both of these temporarily. Just make sure. Okay. Something like this. I just want to make sure that the parts we're actually using for the race are 100% maxed out. Oh yeah, we're on the Discord. Actually, that's probably the best idea. I could uh, I could live talk on the Discord as I watch episodes. Maybe that's the better way to do it. Mm, spec wing change on the thing. All right, sponsor slot three. So these guys here. That's interesting. What does this turn out to be? Uh, two seven five zero three divided by what was it? Eight races. Eight races. So that comes out to two hundred forty-three thousand per race over here. So Jogo Games will actually pay me more. It's longer. So, you know, you lock us in and then we don't necessarily get the, you know, chance of a five star. Yeah, I think this is better. Because this comes out, assuming I did that calculation, right? 27500? Yeah. So it comes out to 343,000 per race. So this Jogo Games is more. Now, up front... If it was early in the season, we might prefer the upfront so that we could get parts and stuff going, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, Jogo for the gamers. Yeah. Hashtag just gamer things. Bam. It does give us more to use on a new car. I think it'll work out okay here, though. Thanks for the bits, Viper. Viper B5. <laughs> nice. Okay. So there's a vote to spec part the rear wing. Um, it looks like it's going to go against. Part of me is thinking uh, we could just abstain to save some voting power. There's a chance it could pass. If all the undecideds go for, it could pass. And we're actually really well set up for a rear wing. We already have a, a purple rear wing and we've got some like, you know, We've got illegal parts and things we're carrying over. I think I'm going to go ahead and vote with my one power just to help make sure it does not become a spec part. If you stay, you'll have the best rear wing in the league. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think this is great. All right. Yeah, we could have gotten the power, but not by much. So... What's wrong with their chins? Race gossip. And time left to catch. Listen, what we need is uh, what we need is 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 someone to go all um. Anya Harding or whatever? To, to one of the Kirov drivers? Um, none of the reliability work matters. Because, yeah, we have maxed out reliability on everything we're actually going to be using. It's whiskey and chocolate! Performance work is now done, so now we can just max out uh, the last two illegal parts over here. 
that they can carry over that until the end, and that's going to be okay. No one! Uh, no one here is exactly what it appears is a quote from Gakar to Catherine Sakai. Oh, really? My username. Me and Twitter talk B5. Or t this, we should set up, um, if we don't already have it, we're going to set up just a, a TV talk or channel or something like that in the Discord. Um, and yeah, we'll do that. I don't know if we need a one that's directly about Babylon 5. Although, I suppose there could be the idea of dividing it by TV show so that we don't have to worry about spoilers and things like that. Uh, there might be a, a reason to, to split things up, or I don't know. Or maybe we have a TV channel that's like, no spoilers allowed, another one where all spoilers are okay. That might be the better way to handle it. Okay. Like the sponsor. Well, I mean, we're hoping for wins. It's a rainy day. I think we're going to take Vamoose. I mean, I can't believe Vamoose doesn't have a bonus for racing in Canada. Because, I mean, how is Vamoose not Canadian and not giving us a bonus, which is too bad? Because could you imagine we could get a heck of a lot more? Um, I'm not going to go to Viking. It's not enough of a money difference to uh, to make it worthwhile. Uh, the parts are okay. Um, I mean, they're actually fairly balanced overall in in strength. I think we'll just leave the parts assigned as they are. So, 31 laps, rainy. Not, not heavy rain, just rainy. So, there might not be any need for full wets at all. Uh, we actually might run a lot of it on slicks. We don't know. What we're almost certainly going to do is, well, the practice is going to be heavy rain. Oh, that's so annoying. Because I would love to get some slick knowledge for qualifying. But the knowledge is going to go up really, really slowly. Maybe what we should do is actually try to do some practice on intermediates and maybe use the intermediate knowledge for the race. Yeah, and that's what the Sarge says as well. I think that might be more what we have to do. If, it, if there's going to be a period of dry and we might be able to get one level of slick knowledge for quality, it will be worth it. Mm -hmm. well, so far it looks clear. So I think the weather would be running at this point. Um, yeah, only three laps. The thing is, we won't get much in the way of inter-knowledge on the first three laps anyway. What we'll do is we'll, we'll, we may as well go out on the ultras. And we might be able to do another dry stint at the end for one level of knowledge. We will see. What up? Uh, like that. How do they compare between the two? Pretty compatible. Well, the downforce is clearly going to have to be quite a bit more here, so we may as well start Max a little bit more downforce -y. The speed balance is probably going to be somewhere in the middle. So it's going to be hard to see exactly where the overlap is. It's going to be somewhere in here and somewhere in here. And hold on, where's the handling? Probably near the low end. Okay. Was it minutes? Oh, yeah. You know what? Never mind, then. You're right. We'll just go on the intermediates. We're not going to get much knowledge on the intermediates while it's actually dry. And hell, then it goes to full wet. I don't know. If we can get one level of intermediate, it might be worth it. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to practice. 
we get more oh hold on i gotta send some people out here before we go and check that uh so let's do some quali on there okay go quali on that okay uh who's that wasting trip oh it's dream of again after all the australia jokes i guess canada's turn now oh boy okay canadian jokes yes uh, what's a Canadian ghost's favorite food? Boutine. You can always tell when your ghost is Canadian because he always says sorry after boo. Boo, sorry. I know this sounds cutting out every time I tab in and out. I hate games that don't have an option to keep the sound going. It's not like the game pauses when I'm tabbed out. It's still going. There's no sound. Oh, we got some inter knowledge. I guess the inters. Maybe you can get inter knowledge regardless of what the trap conditions are. That's actually really useful to know. Ooh. Um. Somehow, we got bang on for downforce and handling right away. Or sorry, downforce and speed balance right away. I think the handling had to be a little bit more this way. Uh. Actually, let me bring it more. We're quite far off. We probably want more downforce, right? Oh shit, I went the wrong way with the handling on uh, on Monty. Whoops. You have to go more understeery. The speed balance actually need to be fairly high in this way, right? Yeah, that's not going to be good. Oh well, at least we know. Yeah, see? We want more understeer than oversteer. So we were there, so we gotta send it way over this way. Actually, poor, not okay, so we gotta go quite far away. And see if we can bring the speed balance. And we don't have to worry about getting it perfect right now, we can do some micro adjustments afterwards. Alright, try that. Sorry about that, Monty. My bad. Oh, hello, Porter. 97%. We'll give you uh we'll give you a little nudge of downforce, and then you can just stay out now. Max, I'm gonna call him Dunzo. I'll bring Monty in right away because we did F up her suspension. Let's see where we end up with. Okay. Not too shabby. 97%. Alright, we know where the speed balance of excellent is. So if we just do. That should pretty much be it. Okay. Come on. Get some quality knowledge for me. Rain is... The track is fully soaked now. It's Hopefully the inter knowledge is still going up a fair bit. It was supposed to be heavy rain on um, uh, on practice. I think it's going to be dry during quality. We're not going to have any tire knowledge of that. Alright. Lots of improvements. I know we got more whiskey and chocolate. Hold on. Order's coming in now. In lap. Out of fuel. Oh, triple excellent. We did get 100% once. 98%. Well, I'm clearly not going to do any more tweaks, though. Um, let's have you go out, and that's it. We're going to keep you on the same tires. It's going to be okay. I don't think there's much time left. Yeah, there's enough time for a little bit more, though. I don't think there'll be enough time. This is just going to be her in lap, and that'll be it. Yeah. Although, technically, you might be able to squeeze a little more knowledge out. One sec. We'll get to the whiskey and chocolate here. Seven. Yeah. That's fine. I'm not feeling the need to do too many tweaks. Um, I'll technically send her out again. You might get out and make it... Uh, probably non-effective knowledge for anything. But we'll see. All right. What was that? Oh, it's Belf Night again. Hey, Belf. Uh-oh. My favorite Canadian joke. Uh, when they were deciding what to name Canada, they were drawing letters out of the hat. So it went C A N A D A. I have heard that one.
What can he have instead of werewolves? Weremoose. It's qualifying time! So if we can somehow pull off a third or above, we'll get another 600,000 pound bonus. And that would not be too shabby. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter. Oh, you know, obviously we quality tim trim. It doesn't matter if we use intermediate trim knowledge or not because we're not going to use it. Um, same thing here. It doesn't matter. So, but at least we've got... No. Oh. It's whiskey and chocolate. That's interesting. It put her... The default knowledge, it went intermediate tires, fuel economy. I forget that, like, the automated mode goes really badly. All right, no rain predicted. Um, we're clearly going to run this on ultra softs. We're okay with our where we're at. We've got this going on. We're going to be okay. Da-da-da-da-da. Weights have been stripped. How come there's less performance gain over here? Were we not able to strip apart as much? Actually, is, percentage, is performance gain, like, a percentage? Maybe because they have slightly different base parts? Yeah, the front wing, I guess, might be a thing. Hmm. I don't know. Is there more whiskey and chocolate? Oh, it's Plain Coast Hills! Canada, eh? What has antlers and sucks blood? A mosquito! <laughs> I've never heard that one before! Oh my god, that one, that's really good. But well, no, it's really bad, but it's really good because it's bad, and I've not heard it. A mosquito. I mean, mos Canadian mosquitoes are about the same size as a moose, so it makes sense. Oh, Porter has a gain X from weight stripping right over here, doesn't he? Yes, weight stripping gain times two on his front wing. Okay, that makes sense. I forgot about that. It's been so long since we designed that part. Okay, I think we're ready to go into quality. And send out. Yeah, you're good. Go, go, go. Wait a beat. And send out right away. I mean, there's not going to be any, you know, warning track, but that's, you know, at least you're not going to have any traffic. And auto, auto. to say they're purpling but yeah, but they were first out although no porter still did a really good qualifying second and third currently with nearly half the field through yeah, fourth and fifth i mean i think we're still set up Oh, it might be a little tough. Depends on who's left. I was going to say, we might be top 10 for both right now, which isn't a terrible start. Nope. Not quite. Okay, so it's about 110 for a lap. When this hits about 130, maybe, we'll send people out. Full track rip. Weather's good. They just start whining. It's like... Don't worry, I, I got this, trust me. Brush tires. Go. Brush tires. Go. Wow. Yeah, no, they're bottom, bottom right now. Monty didn't improve that much. Holy shit. No, they both did a terrible qualifying. They did finish their second lap, right? They just did not do very well. Huh. That's a really bad second stint, and I don't entirely know why. Partanen's only 15th? Well, that's good news. I wonder what their other drivers like. All right, we've already got some rain on the camera. Well, we're definitely starting in inters. 100%. Technically, you could get a better first lap if you were on slicks, but that would be it. So there's no reason. Everyone's going to be definitely starting in inters. Uh, intermediate knowledge is done. We don't need the quick fix, so we're going to do the pit stop guru over here. Intermediate tires. We're going to go for faster refueling rather than fuel economy. Um, car setup, we're okay with that. Driver, I mean, obviously we're going to start everything on the reds. So 11th and 14th overall. 
It's going to be a tough one. Going to be a tough one. We didn't have tire trim. That's true. We had quality trim, but no tire trim. That didn't help there. But hopefully we can make up for it in the race. Although what's annoying here is because it's already wet, there's not much tire strategy to do. Just go into intermediates and race that, which is unfortunate. We lose one. Of oh, shit. Fueling. Oh, no. Well, actually, it's not so bad because the intermediate tires run for fairly long. I think we kind of want full fuel loads on both. I, I should have double checked, but it's because it's possible that the tires will go before the fuel load, but I don't think it's going to be as dire as soft. Still, it's a mistake. Porter kind of lagged on the start, whereas Monty kicked off right away, although then, you know, runs into the back of the pack anyway, so she didn't actually gain anything from her start. Now, the full fuel load might not be so bad. Um, first of all, let me check. How long with these? Oh, it's not great. Um, no, that actually should be fine. It, we may have ha a little too much more fuel than we need, but um, let's see here. 31 laps. Okay. Max has got a two-stop. So we could have really done with fueling him less. But Monty is going should be able to one stop if she does 15 laps on the first set and 16 on seconds okay now there might not be rain the entire time it's a little bit unfortunate especially yeah i mean she could actually do with a heavier fuel load because she's going to go further but on the other hand she's got the shorter fueling times i think with monty if we want to one stop her we're going to go and put her down to neutral t uh, fuel or tire mode right now we gotta do 15 or 16 it's laps on the first tire um, luckily, we can bring it all the way down to zero. Now, we're going to do... When they get close, I'm going to use team orders because Max is a little bit more aggressive here. He's got to overtake more people as part of his strategy. So we're going to allow teammate through. So when Max gets behind Monty, Monty will let Max get through. Hopefully without costing her too many places. More whiskey and chocolate. Next through now. There we go. They've just swapped. Yeah, I mean... And he's overtaking some more. That actually worked out beautifully. Max on the outside here just crushing past people. Oh, Martin was actually on a conserved tire mode, which is interesting. Um, tire camps is going to be a problem. Tire temps are definitely going to be a bit of a problem to maintain here. Which I think means Monty is going to have to two-stop as well. It's a bit unfortunate, although it will give her more information in case she can do a lap on slicks on the end. And call Ingledo. Ingle oh, wow, Rhea losing tons of places now. Tons of places. And she, most of the people are running on yellow tire mode. She's running more aggressive and it's still not paying off. Oh, Max lost a bunch in this corner. Get on the inside. There we go. Get it back. This, this, uh, the pack is still tightly clustered. You know what? Since she's got a two-stop anyway, because we can't run her on the lower uh, tire mode because of the temperature, we may as well go and put her back to double red here. Ooh, yellow. Sylvander crashed. I don't, I don't know how much it matters. Partanum just to head over here. Who's her teammate? Sevilla. Mm, that's too bad. Need to get ahead of them somehow. Yeah, I don't think we can one stop with Monty just because the uh, the tire temp issue. All right. Max is fighting like crazy. Monty tried to move there on the outside with the late braking, but. Overtaking the outside is pretty tough. Hmm. What we really need is someone from Team Kirov crashing. Order on the inside! Get in there. Ooh, your tires are... Need to pull back a little here on the temps. I think the temps might not go up on orange. 
might in fact go down on orange, but let me get a little bit of breathing space here with temp first, and then I'll play with the orange. Ingle do right at the start. Really going to be wet all the way through to the end. The thing that's interesting is Montero might have enough adaptability to run on slicks there when at its lowest um, uh, water levels. I'm not sure. I mean, no, I think the temps are still going up on the yellow here. On fight for it, Max. Get in there! Go red for a sec. Okay, now drop down to yellow. Really must have something legal. I mean, that would certainly fit the MO. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're in, we're in yellow. You're not pushing. The temp's not going to go up. I think that was just a laggy message. Can't believe how tight this pack is. Monty still doesn't have great overtake stats. There we go. Finding 13th place. That's right behind. Who's that? Sevilla. We really want to get past this person, actually. Go to attack mode for a sec. What are they running? Yellow. We're getting some gap. But here comes the corners. Just watch the temps. Make sure they don't go over. No. In fact, I think we're in a we're in a lower performance band now. With our tire, well, I'm not sure actually. We're probably both in the middle. Max hasn't actually complained about anything. Let's just leave him on yellow for now. Um, he hasn't. Yeah, got to make sure he goes at least 10 or 11 laps. Right now, neither one of us are scoring points. Which is just fine by Kirov, I guess. Everyone running red engine mode. Yeah, because there's only the top five that score. Arrow has gone up a little bit. And the Porter as well, you know, in seventh. Got someone right on him, though. Who's that? Mikhailovic? Orange mode right now. Fire warrant. Okay, he just entered his lowest performance band on the tires. Uh, we are still going to push for now, though. Like, continue on these tires. Yeah, both of our drivers are going to be going for a two-stop. Two um... If we pit now, laps remaining... I mean, if we didn't push these intermediates as hard... Although they're still tired, like, the temperature is still a problem. It's basically, we have to run them at least orange mode to keep the temps up, really. Um, well, I guess whether we do it now or after. How's the water looking? Okay, it looks like there might be space for a final stint there on slicks. I don't think Max is going to be able to do it properly, but Monty might time out properly. I think I'm about pitting him now. Oh, well, he's got the fuel. You know what? Go another. We'll pit you next time. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to pit him now. 21 laps remaining. We're going to do a stint of, um, ideally at least 11. 14.3 laps of fuel is what we want in him. I'll round it up to 15. Parts are okay. Pit strategy. I don't know if two sec... Um, math still says two seconds is better. Yeah, no, expected value is we want to go fast. We're gonna stop Porter now, and we're gonna stop stop Ingle or Monty on the next one, which is gonna be fine. 
Perfect time there. Uh, you may as well go back to attack. Try to get another 10th in here. Uh, actually, hold on. Um... Thing is, there's not enough fuel in here to make this a good stint. No, we have to add fuel. I realize that it's not great. What did I say? 14 point? Yeah, so 15. It does suck that we're not putting that much fuel in, but I think we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, it's going to be okay. So, enters, fuel, done. What if you max out fuel for the rest of the race? Uh, the math says that's a lot slower. Um, because of the weight of the fuel. Like, we could not refuel again for the rest of the race, but I don't think that would be good for us. You're coming in now, which is great. Monty's going to be pitting next. For the inters, yep. Yeah. And fuel, it's going to be... Well, uh... She's got to stop one more time somewhere in here. Now, if she can make it to lap 24, she could probably finish the race on slicks. So she needs to do 12 or 13 laps, which she can do just fine in the intermediates. Let's fuel her for 13 laps of fuel. That would be, she needs 17 laps of fuel in the tank for that if we keep running on a red. She should be able to do this fine, and then do the final stint on Ultrasofts. Uh, it's only one second difference predicted, so we'll go balanced for her. Hope the AI doesn't pit the slicks during the last laps if we win. I mean, unless they pit the slicks poorly. Which certainly they've done. Right, so Max did come out in 16th, but he's already pitted. So a bunch of people in front of him happen. Parks has. Actually, is Parks literally the only person in front of him who's pitted? That's interesting. He might find himself in net second place. Lyo's got mechanical problems, which is interesting this late in the season, you know? All right, so we're hoping she can make it until a final pit stop. Oh, that's a, a final pit stop for uh, Slicks. With Max, I'm not sure what our solution's going to be. He couldn't make it far enough to reach the, the Slicks point. I mean, or could we? How much would it cost us? Like, if we just... No, because we can't, we can't keep the temps... I don't think so. It still might leave Max in this points, though. No, do we schedule another one at the end? Or Max is going to have to do the last, like, four laps on inters when it's, like, clearly slick time. Um, maximum penalty for this is up to 10 seconds from inters. No, it's actually still worth pitting Max at that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to just shred the shit out of his tires. We'll switch to inters again basically as early as we can. Um, and then plan for uh, switching to ultras, ultra lights, ultra softs for the last four laps of the race. I think so. Not keen on it, but I think that might be the best play. So it means one extra stop for Max, but yeah, I think he just has to put in one extra stop. I think we sort of realize that as early as possible. All right, everyone stopped one time. We're currently in fourth and ninth. Max is going to be three stopping. Monty, two stopping. Assuming it all works out. Well, no, Monty is 100% two stopping. The only question is whether we do it in like an optimal fashion or not. But I think it's going to be okay. 
Now, currently, plus three. We have a fastest lap. Must show somewhere in the data. What, three, because right now in fourth place, I guess, no, maybe we get three points for third, for fourth? Must be one, three, oh, maybe. And they're not scoring. We'd be one point behind. Tied with McNeil. 44, 43, 43. Man, what I wouldn't give for a season like that in actual formula racing. All right. These tires are getting a little too hot. Lose the point of pushing. Monty, um, let's go and give you a little bit more, because you are actually pushing for eighth here against Lundqvist, who's running on double yellow. Come on, get through. Because I really... I, I gotta save your tires here, but... You can get ahead! Get! 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 Yeah, she had it for a second! Ah... Uh. Alright, dang it. Go to neutral for a bit. We'll give you some uh, some temperature buffer. Okay. Closing in again. Bad corner by Lindquist. And, oh shit, now you're being... Alright, I'm around there. I mean, oh shit, 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 shit! I realized Porter's tires were getting so goddamn hot. Run you in yellow now. Hmm. Save up a little bit of temp space. All right, go to push. Come on, get in there! Oh, really bad exit on the second corner there. Little chicken. Rhea attempting to overtake. Yeah, 0.1 seconds. Run on the outside and swing into the chicanes. Back over here with Max. Maybe here... No. Ah! So close! I'm putting back down the yellow, though. Tire temps are getting stupid. And we were... Actually, I forgot. We're really hoping... I'm having him fight for this position, but this could burn his tire out too early. Okay, I, since he, he hasn't won it now, we he, he, we don't have any more tire for you there, Max. We can't, we can't get you to do this. You gotta, you gotta pass through him making a mistake, basically, or you're just driving slightly better. I, you can't push the tires anymore. I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta make him stretch a little bit longer than this. Well, Monty, I'm gonna drop you down to orange just so you don't overheat, but otherwise you're okay. This looks like he's making another run over here at Hamilton. Drop her down to neutral for temperature. Oh, I'm so stressed. Are you guys stressed? I guess... Are we just going to two-stop him? Not three? I think we are. I forgot about that. I was pushing him because I was like, no, we'll stop for another round of inters. But it turns out we're going to be fine. I think we can just stretch his tires out long enough. Could even consider a little conserve. Oh, Parks just pitted. That is very interesting. I think our tire wear is fine as is. I don't think I have to do any conserve stuff with Max. Porter has, like, no adaptability. Now, Monty's got some, and to avoid a double stack, um, and since Monty's currently out of the points, I think what we do is we pit Monty first. Or after. What we want to do is we want to pit, ma pit ma Max at exactly the right time. Oh, shit. Porter's fuel. Uh, where is he right now? He's right over here at the exit of the pits. Uh, he can... He, actually, he's fine. That's the entrance of the pit. 
I think he's actually perfectly fine doing it on red, but I forgot he doesn't have any, enough fuel to do any more than that. That is actually his limited factor. Um, we could have dropped it sooner if we'd known this was coming, but I don't know. Hmm. I mean, we have to pit him because he's at no fuel. What do we pit him for? He can't finish on ultras, though. We could pit him on, on softs. I think is what it has to do. Uh, how's his engine? Oh, it's fine. We need uh we need twelve laps of fuel for him. Uh, his ultras won't. He's got nine laps for me. And there, we, with the ultras, I mean, first of all, the softer of the two compounds has the much worse lower performance band, and the ultra softs have a cliff at twenty percent, so you really can't go very far. The super softs have a cliff at fifteen, and of course, just more longevity overall. Um, and because it's still, eh, still on the coolish side, we are going to have to push the tires a bit to maintain. Air rear wing for free. I mean, there's quite a bit. We wouldn't be completely for free, and there's another possibility of a mistake there. I think the rear wing's going to be fine. Well, I don't know, but we're going to gamble. Yeah, Max is going to suffer for the next two laps. On the other hand, being in the pit is going to buy him a little bit of time. Unless I do fix it. Actually, actually, okay. It's only costing us another 0.6. And since it's 0.6 while the track is still a little bit wet, it might effectively only cost us something 0.3. You know what? I like it. There's nine laps remaining. Double check this math here. Nine laps remaining. So yeah, 12 laps worth of fuel means we can run on red engine mode the entire time. There's no reason to add another lap of fuel. This is going to round up to 12, and it should be fine. Okay. It's risky, but might work. Meanwhile, Monty can stay up. Yeah, I forgot. He should have... Man, in hindsight, I could have I could have milked another couple of laps out of these tires for Max. And we could have gotten him to the lap of rain. I, uh underestimated how much his tire he'd actually make his tires last we also didn't know when the rain would slack when uh, we did that pit stop all right here he comes come out on the red I gotta pit her at, well I'm actually not even after this all right double red for now what is the bung Rhino screaming some Flight Simulator after us. Nice. By the way, our next live stream on Wednesday is going to be returned to Microsoft Flight Simulator. What are you doing? Oh, she's fine. Definitely go up here for now. Fuel, a couple laps worth of fuel. I think she is right bang on where we want her to be. So his lap, lap times are going to be pretty bad. He might lose a couple places to some people who are still intermediates, but that's okay. like that. She's entering her lowest performance band. Look, at Deos just pit for for fresh intermediates. Mikhailovic did pit for the like Good. Um, Alright. Now it's time to pit her. Now, she can definitely do a super softs until the end. Um, we want, what, probably nine laps of fuel. Yeah. I mean, she'll end up with a little bit extra, but that's going to be okay. Uh, parts are going to be fine. That's only saving a second, so we'll just go to balanced over here for her. Okay.
have enough fuel to get to the pits. Yep, that's going to happen fine. Okay. All right, Max. Pace is improving. Yeah, you were, we're outside of the intermediate range over here. That actually wasn't that bad at all on Max. Going to have to keep an eye on the temperatures, which are definitely on the climbing. Go down to yellow for now. She's going to come out on orange-red, and then we'll pop her to yellow at some point. So, Engelhart's right in front of Max on Ultras. That's unfortunate. He's right ahead of Sevilla, which is important. If Sevilla's on Ultras, though, we actually have to keep Sevilla behind. Oh, he's on super conserved engine mode, which is interesting. Now, the problem is Max, he can't outrun Sevilla if there's someone right in front of him. Although, if they're on bad tires, it's going to be okay. We're going to be really twitchy on his... Uh, we're going to be managing his tire uh, strategy very aggressively here. We want to keep him out of that lowest performance band for as long as possible while not getting passed by our rival here in the championship. And then hopefully enough people pit that we actually find ourselves in the point or all this is, is moot. Yeah, get by this one as quickly as you can. Watch the temps, watch the temps, watch the temps. Okay, go down to yellow. Woo! Oh! Wait, oh, Sevilla, yeah. Sevilla, okay. I was gonna say, I was having a hard time passing parks. Did get through. Luckily, not super fast, which is nice. Temps here are okay for now. Temps here are okay for now. Fuel should all be good. I'm getting there. Sevilla getting caught up a little bit. Nice. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Sevilla's tires are a little higher percentage-wise, but they will still wear down faster. And when Sevilla gets down to the lowest performance band, um, the Ultras will be a lot worse than the Super Softs. A lot worse. That we really have to delay this overtake as much as possible here while not overheating our tires. The rat's got the fastest lap right now, which is good because that's not one of our championship rivals. Drop her down to yellow for a sec. So in the standings, if things were to end as is, oh, Kirov's got two points. R3. Engledu's pitting. Back down to yellow here. Yeah, Monty Sire should be okay, except for the temp. We're back on yellow right now, so we're okay. We're yellow over here. I don't think the temperature is increasing on yellow. Sevilla is actually having to go conserve on her tires. Ho oh ho! All right. Um, it's Sevilla and yeah, Pertanen over here, who's definitely not in the points. I don't think one of them got pole position, right? So, I mean, we're not gaining much on points over Sevilla right now. There's no one else really in contention. We're not probably going to pass anyone ahead of us. No one's really going to pass Partanen. Ingle do with the fastest lap is fine because she's not part of our competition, really. Unless, is she on McNeil Racing Team? She might be, actually. Your engine, your engine's fine. Let's do some uh, lap math here. Uh, we've got three laps to go, which is 3.9 laps worth of fuel. Uh, you might have to yellow or orange a little at the end. They just went through. We might be okay. We might have to orange a little at the end. We will see. Yeah, Ingledu might be McNeil, which would be less than ideal. Because it is someone else we're fighting for in this championship. What? It's going to come down to the final race. It's at 100% going to come down to the final race. Our attempts are what they are. Coming up on the hit straight. And yeah, we are going to be a little a little light on fuel here. Because we need 2.6 laps of fuel to do two laps on red. And that's going to be the same case with both. So I'm going to set them both to orange for a second. And then they'll be able to finish the last lap on, uh, on red. Looks like we have defended against Sevilla. So that's at least something. Engledu getting those points is kind of annoying. I think we can go back to overtake mode on both of these. Double check as they go through the start finish line. I mean, there's not there's nothing else to gain, right? No. Unless there's a last minute crash that shakes things up, this is how we're gonna end. Uh, 
Uh, coming up now. Oh, actually, you're not quite going to be able to finish on red. You just need a little bit of orange. Same thing here with Montero. A little bit of orange. But actually, if we're not in a tight fight, we'll just finish on orange. Monty's placement doesn't really matter because she's out of the points regardless. Nothing's happening with Max. And Sevilla's not going to get passed by Mikhailovic, which is too bad. Blanc has locked up, which doesn't change anything really for us because he was so far down already. I mean, Mikhailovic is closing in. Sevilla's in the lowest performance band with the Ultras and actually about to hit the cliff. But it is the final lap. I don't think there's enough time for Mikhailovic to catch up and pass. Amps are good. Yep. Fuel, it is saying low. I think she's going to be fine to finish. I'll just drop her down to him for a sec here. Yeah, you're going to be fine. Oh! We, there was a chance we could have actually gotten to the top here. There was a chance. We still came out ahead of our primary rival, although now we got a, we got another one in the, in the things here. Ingledew. If Hamilton had come out of top of Ingledew, I would have felt a lot better about our situation. Kruger Motorsport. Wait. Ingledew's with Kruger. Yes. No. That's right. No. Yes. So she's not McNeil. I wonder if Hamilton is McNeil. Um, uh, Pip J, we couldn't replace the tires on, um, we couldn't replace the tires any later. The problem is he was out of fuel. It would have been great if we kept it going, but he did not have the fuel to go another lap. We had to swap tires then, and it was better to go to softs than intermediates. I would have loved to, to swap one lap later. Um, and it would have made all the difference. If we had realized sooner that, cause I thought we, cause after we did this and we got to about this point, we were looking at the weather and we're like... He's going to have to do two more stops, one more intermediate. So we actually pushed, um, well, I guess we pushed his tire, which doesn't matter. If we'd realized around here that he could last his tires until it got dry, I would have cut his engine mode down and then waited to here and then do that. On the other hand, maybe the time lost, the one lap that wasn't perfect with the slicks, maybe ended up being about the same as running this entire time on red instead of running him on, we probably would have had to run on yellow uh, that whole time. Um, and so it might have been a wash in the end. I don't know. Cheating parts? Cheating parts? Cheating parts? Cheating parts? Cheating parts? Not potentially as good as Ingle do. It's still a one point difference. I think it was two and three. Now it's three and four. So with our competition... With Team Kirov, nothing has changed. However, and actually nothing really changed with McNeil. Actually, that makes McNeil's even better. Because um, Engelhart, who's on McNeil, that's who it is. Engelhart went from four points to six. So they actually got one extra point out of it. So this actually ended up being bad for me. This ended up being bad for me. Because relative to Kirov, nothing has changed. Relative to McNeil, it got one point worse. It does mean we got the sponsor objective, which I admit is very, very nice. It gets us up onto the podium, which is all kinds of exciting. But Ingle Fart. We're now three points behind both of them. Which is well within, well within possibility of a, of a win. Well, not 1.6 million, because it's split in half. It's, first of all, I think it's 1.2 million, the sponsor objective, and it's half for qualifying, half for the race. So, uh, it was 600,000 for us coming in third there, which ain't nothing. Max lost morale. Come on, man. This is going to be insane. No, we're not going to continue. We got to leave it off here. Next week is going to be the main event. The main event, the crazy one. I'm not even going to. I'm. Oh, I know. What's the question? Max Porter had to apologize to the representative of Vancouver today after he soaked her in a shower of champagne spray at the podium. What are your thoughts on his behavior? 
I would very much like to see if we could boost Max's um, morale a little bit. That might help him do a little bit better. I'm not sure. I think probably something like Max is just playing around is probably okay. Um, I do have, where was it? Somewhere in here. You got, um, Motorsport Manager sort of question, like interview answers. Interview responses. Um, champagne. On you stupid. Uh, oh, none of the answers on this question seem to have any effect whatsoever, as far as I can tell. Oh, wait, no, that's a different question I'm looking at. There it is. Um, okay, I am, I am right to think that the first answer is going to increase Max's um, morale. What I was assuming, but I just wanted to double check. It upsets the chairman a little bit, but who cares? I'm assuming we did ask the chairman. Yeah, we did ask the money for chairman. Or the, the chairman for money already. Okay, that is it for today. Next race, Phoenix Grand Prix. It is going to be sunny. 43 lap race. I like the races with a lot of laps because it gives us a tiny bit more flexibility about our pits because we get more fine grain, like ability to, to tweak things, um, which is nice to see. Top speed is crucial. Now it's a spec part. So all the engines are going to be the same there. Um, managing engine wear might be a bigger deal. Um, so we might end up doing a little bit more of the race on orange engine mode instead of red, something to consider. High speed corners is crucial. We currently have actually a really good back wing, so that's gonna be nice. Acceleration is listed as useful. That's another spec part. Um, I don't know if there's double points for the last race in this uh, league. In, in, in the end, it sort of kind of doesn't matter. Um, where'd you go with that? Current rules. I don't see anything in here. I don't think it's worth more. What hurts us is the fact that we cannot reliably get a fastest lap, um, or in fact, pole. If, if, if you eliminated the points from fastest lap and pole position, we'd probably be first. Because I don't think we've gotten any. Is it the oval configuration? It is the oval configuration. It is the most boring of track layouts. It's interesting it says tire wear low because that that's not actually that's not right because um it's nothing but a big fast corner and another big fast corner and that's actually the worst for tire wear. So, I think that's uh I think that's probably not entirely accurate. So, it's not going to be quite exciting. Yeah, we'll, we'll I'll take a pit, look at the pit crew in between episodes here. Don't worry about it. Um Now I'm really worried, if, wondering if we should have designed a, a, a new rear wing, rear wing for this final race. Because we would have had something probably in time. I don't know. I don't know. Soft and mediums, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're wrapping up here. We're going to raid it because for Lux Channel, because Rhino is apparently doing some flight simulator stuff there, uh, which sounds like great time. Next live stream is on Wednesday. We are going to be doing flight sim at that point. Uh, so... Saturday, we're going to be probably doing some more Crusader Kings. And next Monday, 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 Monday is going to be the season finale for Underdog Challenge. I can't wait. Thanks a lot, everyone. And, uh, oh, was there more whiskey and chocolate that I missed until the end? Uh, yes, there was actually. Traconium says, just found out Canada isn't real. Turns out it was all just maple leaf. Not make believe. Uh, and Canada, er, playing close sales is Canada. What has antlers and suck blood? A mosquito. We had read that one. So, Traconium, sorry I missed you during the stream. Let's rate a Kiss for Lux channel. Uh, and I'm going to see you in a couple of days. Bye.